many people have said that out of these nine, seven ministers are kind of imported. They have come from outside. They are not from the original BJP cadre. And probably only Chief Minister and Nilesh Kabral are two, uh, two uh, MLS who are from the BJP with, the, with some of their connection, long-term roots in the BJP. How do you look at this composition? As, as Manoj said, do you think this is completely a new BJP post Manohar Parikar? The question is to me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now as far as as far as this, uh, I'll use the term globalization of minister. This is something not ha happening for the first time. This has this is something which is going from late 70s to 80s to 90s. It has always happened. So people, these uh, traditional uh, people who have been getting elected for a long time have been getting elected. Now presently they happen to be on this side of the fence. Therefore, therefore uh, certain kinds of uh, you, you know stories have been floated in the market saying that no, it, these are from the other side. How are they going to survive in BJP kind of atmosphere? Well, these are all, were they not there present in the last uh, last elections or last government? Hmm. Did they not function in the last government in the same BJP? First? So how is it going to make a difference? Hmm. These are people who have been democratically elected by the people. They are they were with BJP at the time when they filed their nomination. They got elected in the BJP ticket. To say that once upon a time they were of some other party is hardly any, I mean, neither, neither here Derek, nor there. Derek, what do you feel when, when somebody raises these kind of questions about seven of the nine ministers being from quote-unquote outside BJP? Uh, Siddharth Babi is saying this globalization of cabinet is not a new phenomenon. When it comes to BJP, why are we trying to give it a color? Uh, you see, when before the BJP actually came to power, both in uh, Goa as well as India, it was always looked upon as this uh, with, uh, being uh, far right. Okay. Secondly, it was looked at as being a party with a with a difference. Now all that has changed. What has happened is the BJP has moved closer to the centre, and this is what makes it very uh, easy for people from other sides, from any other political party to move in and move out of the BJP. Mm. The BJP now is more Congress than the Congress. BJP is, is right of the center now. Yes, yeah. it is It is. It is closer to the center. Yeah. So there will be people moving in and out. So that to me is not, when you see, look and say there are no people from the original BJP. What is the original BJP? And what is the BJP today? And this is the legacy of Manohar Parikar. It's not over. In 2012, he conducted a beautiful experiment where he brought the brought the BJP to the center, brought the minorities in, and created and created a a, a mix of the whole, uh, which made BJP now more acceptable to the larger masses of Goa than it was prior to that. So this whole point of having somebody from outside, somebody from here, somebody from there is going to happen. It's it's a process that will that will, will, will continue. And in a place like Goa, walking in of one party and walking out and going to another party and walking back again is not something is something new. Yeah. Because there is nothing ideologically that separates one party from the other. They are all the same moving closer to the center. Center. Uh, Cleofat Bob, do you feel it's an unfair point to make when we say that seven of these fellows are not do, do not have their roots in BJP? Is it unfair to this administration? See, we are in a strange situation. Hmm. The talent pool is limited. And from this limited talent pool, the chief minister has to make a choice. Now, this is also because we don't have a Vidhan Parishad hmm. where he can give ministry to somebody and then get him elected to the house. So we don't have a Vidhan Parishad. But given the situation that he was in, uh, I would say that he could have made a better choice. Certain deadwood could have been out. Let us not name people. But still it could have been better. But then what happens is when it comes to uh, ministry making, uh, too many issues come into picture like uh, caste composition, religion composition, uh, regional composition. Heavyweight composition. And, yes. And then in that case, the merit comes uh, behind, merit falls behind. But in this particular case, he had, as I said, a great opportunity to overcome all that. Hmm. 
and manoj has used the right word all of them were tamed see at a time when all of them were tamed uh, he could have kept aside kept aside the the usual compulsions different compulsions the usual compulsions yes hmm. and one more thing i would i would also say that in this so far of this 20 of, of this uh, of the of this present composition you have no representation even in salsa and from bardes bardes there is one but uh, even that the regional uh, composition seems not correct okay but but, 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 yeah, but, 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 but one more one more yeah. to say that to say that composition of this is old congress they chose to give tickets that way so yeah. there was hardly any choice yeah correct i can completely uh, manoj very quickly is it unfair to say that this 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 is a kind of a past congress heavy cabinet i don't give importance to such uh, mm. debates because mm. they are the same faces who have been elect elected see now we have seen in goa one tendency that the local politics is getting integrated with the mainstream mm. and that is happening all over the country and that is bound to happen whoever is in power people would like to stick to whoever is in power so all the politics the state level or the regional politics would be centralized so what we have you seen nothing different we have seen the same faces powerful people are in power again and therefore uh, all this powerful people now are fortunately tamed by the bjp again i use the word because of political compulsions and because there is no second alternative which can ever emerge mm. and we, we we do not know unless unless there is a strong dissent so uh, today we see the same faces are much more disciplined they behaved in much more what is a cordial manner and cordial <laughs> manner as compared with respect to the party as That's compared what, to what they are doing in congress what they were doing in the past so <laughs> irrespective of whether the same faces but that their behavior has changed so mm. i don't give much importance to this debate uh, of uh, whether it's an old congress or new congress makes no difference yeah uh, so, uh, that, yeah so 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 look at it this way if this naughty kid has changed his school and if he's become a better boy what's the problem discipline with discipline boy He's become a more disciplined boy. What's the problem <laughs> with the people now? Yeah. So you are saying we all should welcome this new change. I I can I can I I'm completely out of time, but I can say one thing because this is a mandate that has been given to this government. And when we talk about Pramod Savan 2.0, I think the least we can expect as citizens is good and fair governance.